or I check this out. One of the most important checkmate patterns in rook and pawn chess endgames is this particular setup where you have your king and pawn lined up like this and of course your threatening checkmate on the back rank. I'm telling you this because many times we forget about this idea, but of course the former world champion and the legend of the sport, the Turing machine, Hosero Capablanca, never missed a chance like this. In one of his games he played the brilliant g6, allowed his opponent Tartakover uh, to play the rook to f4, but now we have again this pattern. We're threatening the checkmate on the back rank. After king to g8, now rook to g7, king to h8, now Capablanca took another pawn, but still the pattern is there. Black needs now to step back, Capablanca took another pawn, again Black is trying to compete somehow, but now again the same pattern applies after a couple of checks, uh, now comes another brilliant idea, g7, if you pick up the pawn of course, then Black uh, will lose all of the pawns on the queen side, and Capablanca won this game very very easily.